Dear students, in this video, we discuss the necessary part of a theorem. Statement of the theorem. Let u and v be real valued functions defined on a region G. And suppose that u and v have continuous partial derivatives. Then f from G to C defined by f of z equal to u of z plus i v of z is analytic if and only if u and v satisfy the Cauchy Riemann equations. This is a very familiar theorem to you. That is, we are we already studied in the sixth semester degree classes. That is, a function f is analytic, then it satisfies the Cauchy Riemann equations. And the converse need not be true, but if f of z satisfies the Cauchy Riemann equations and it have you and we have continuous partial derivatives then it is analytic so we have to consider the proof so first we have f of z equal to u of z plus i v of z this is already given in the statement so put z equal to x plus i y we get f of x plus i y equal to u of x plus x plus i y plus i into v of x plus i y so any Complex number x plus i y can be represented as a ordered pair x y in the arrogant representation. So, f of x y equal to u of x y plus i into v of x y. So, first we suppose that f of z is analytic. Then we have to show that it is satisfies the Cauchy Riemann equations. That is Cauchy Riemann equation is a pair of equation u, u x equal to v y and u y equal to minus v x minus v x ok this is Cauchy Riemann equations so we suppose that f of z is analytic then f of z is analytic means f dash of z exists for each point there exists derivative since f of z is analytic so f dash of z exists means we have f dash of z equal to limit h tends to 0 f of z plus h minus f of z divided by h so let us evaluate this limit in two different ways that is first h tends to 0 through the real values of h then h tends to 0 through the pu purely imaginary values of h so first we take the real case that is let h tends to 0 through real values of h okay then we take the term f of z plus h minus f of z divided by h equal to we can write it as, as in the form this form here f of x plus i y can be written as f of x y so f of z plus h can be written as in the form u of x plus h y plus i into v of x plus h y minus f of z can be written as u of x y plus i into v of x y whole divided by h that is but z in x plus i y and h real on so real part x plus h so x plus h and imaginary part is y similarly you u of x y plus i v of x y all divided by h then we can split these terms as real part u of x plus h y minus u of x y and imaginary part v of x plus h y minus v of x y that is that is equal to u of x plus h y minus u of x y by h plus i taking as common v of x plus h y minus v of x y divided by h so letting h tends to 0 on both sides we get on the left side it is definition of f dash of z so we get left side f dash of z 
right side this is the definition of here we put the limit h tends 0 and also here limit h tends 0 that is this is the definition of u x of x y plus i into here it is v x of x y that is f dash of z equal to u x of x y plus i into v x of x y this is equation number one then similarly we find the next way that is letting h tends to zero through purely imaginary va values purely imaginary values of h so we get f of z plus h and allah z plus i h and we do purely imaginary value on h in the purely imaginary value on number so h is in the form i h f of z plus i h minus f of z divided by i h equal to similar case in the number of number u of x not the x plus h in the number of the number of h in the number of the number so u of x y plus h plus i into v of x plus h sorry i into v of x y plus h minus f of z in one another u of x y plus i into v of x y whole divided by h in the room so real part of imaginary part of split to the idea lip u of x y plus h minus u of x y plus i into divided by h sorry here divided by i h on a to i into h karna what i h on a denominator so here i into h similarly i into v of x y plus h minus v of x y divided by i h so e i cancel here on it number numerator loom denominator loom i going to multiply so i into but a third multiply in bore minus verum so minus i into u of x y plus h minus u of x y plus e i u my u cancel it room so v of x y plus h minus v of x y divided by h where in h and o now we take the limit h tends to 0 so left side it is f dash of z and right side it is the definition of u y and this is the definition of v y so minus i into u y of x y plus v into v y into sorry v y of x y so we take it as equation number two from one and two one and one another thing and i know f dash of z equal to u x of x y plus i into v x of x y from one and two we get the lhs are equal so rhs should be equal so two complex numbers are equal means real part are equal and imaginary part should be equal so we get u x of x y equal to v y of x y similarly v x of x y equal to minus u y of x y so Cauchy Riemann equation or another u x equal to v y u y equal to minus v x so the function f of z satisfies the Cauchy Riemann equation if f of z is analytic so f of z analytic and suppose you do we get it it is satisfied u and v satisfies the Cauchy Riemann equation